Uh, we're a gonna, shot of that we're for, gonna, the, we're gonna, well, for the early news. We're going to send you to Channel 3. This is 11 p.m. material. <laughs> oh. uh, <laughs> but you know what? The belly button is the best part. Let me see that again. The belly button looks like it is a belly button. Like it, like I could, I could swear that's three dimensional. But my actual belly button's here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I mean the pecs are here. I think and it's the belly just for a smaller here. person. But Chase, you said it was it was purchased for a six foot person. Yeah. I think it's just one print that they just decide. And they just... Yeah, yeah. They don't they don't <laughs> adjust it. <laughs> um, welcome to Good Mythical More. As many of you know, uh, if you're a long time listener and a part time watcher, you know that uh, I, I would say. I go as far as to say you pride yourself on being an impulse purchaser, um, and I'm I've always been in awe of it, and oh, really? but it totally goes against my my personality to just see something and decide to buy it. Mm -hmm. Like think of a few instances, like rehash a few instances of impulse purchases in your past. Well, I mean, I, I've talked before about how I'm a sucker, or I used to be when I when I ate poorly. I would anything that was in the window at a fast food restaurant. Me meaning the poster, the poster of the advertised it, like at Hardee's or ten Carl times Jr. out of ten. That's what I'm getting. In fact, I just saw that Arby's is, has launched. and This is not a sponsored piece. <laughs> Arby's has launched a venison burger, a venison sandwich, a deer sandwich, a deer sandwich. And I was like, I gotta get one of those. Yeah, yeah. but it's but it's, it's only, got a piece of antler in it's it. It's only in like that's not how it works. There's only uh, like 17 stores who are doing it in like the southeast where people hunt deer. Here, people just have pet deers. You know, so they don't eat them. Pet they deers. just pet the deers. Uh, uh, but or you'll be at home watching a commercial, and then you will see said commercial either for a candy from a convenience store, at least five times in my life, or I from have a fast food restaurant. Seen a commercial on television late at night. I've like been in like underwear watching television, <laughs> and I've gotten dressed and gone and bought that item. And 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 I just laugh because I'm like. But that's what the commercial is for. No, I'm not laughing to, at you. I'm to laughing. Make you buy it. I'm laughing because so I'm like, it, okay, I'll do it. I feel like an alien watching another species when you tell me these type of things because, like, I, admittedly, to a, to, way past to a fault, I'm very frugal, and I have to justify every single purchase. Um, but so I feel, you buy, I feel like I've broken new ground. I was watching a documentary. You looking around for it? Yeah. Is it small? Uh, it's small enough to be over here, okay. and you not All see right. it, okay. brother. Um, watching a documentary uh, with Lincoln and with Christy. Well, uh, with Lando too. Not that that matters. Lily wasn't there. Don't know where she was. She's thirteen. She does her own thing. And there's a lot of them to keep up with. Uh, she, I give her the keys to the car, and she's gone. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's like on a farm. Be back before the morning. Um, so. Uh, so, you know, I'm flipping through documentaries, and I'm like, okay, Lincoln, I think you would like this one, Sneakerheads. It's got a Z on the end. That must be a cool documentary when the S is replaced with the Z. Uh -huh. uh, it's about sh uh, sneakerheads' sho shoes. People who love shoes. People who love That's shoes. That's what they call people who and love shoes. And, of course, shoes. Locke is, is a sneakerhead. Is a, is a sneaker head, right. And Lincoln, being his close friend, is is not only aware of this, but a lot of this is rubbing off on him. Yeah. Like now, sneakers matter to him. He's a secondary sneakerhead, and he has like there is a shoe or two on display in his room. He wears one, and he displays the other one. Well, he walks around with a limp. Whereas I had to build, I had to build a shelf in Locke's room that He's looks all like a out. footlocker, which is different than you, by the yeah. way. I'll say that like you're obsessive about things, but you I don't put them on display. You wouldn't collect a whole. Thing I would do that. I'm not a collector. I'm just a buyer. So I'm watching this documentary, and they go through, you know, the history of people's obsession with sneakers, like going back to uh, the first Jordans, and um, and then I start thinking, you know what? And I turn to Lincoln. I'm like, you know what? There was only one shoe that I cared about as a kid when I was your age. The Converse All Star. And I wanted, I wanted it for Christmas. And I remember one Christmas specifically, I asked for these shoes, and my dad bought them for me, and I was obsessed with them. And I immediately got out my phone, went on eBay, and I bought them. The same exact the pair? Sa the same pair. The pair that I had sold on eBay when I was 11. Right. No, another pair. And then halfway through, I'm like, I shouldn't, I shouldn't do this. This is stupid. I'm like... No, this but is Rhett will be this proud what, of this me. This is what life is about, man. You only live once. Buy multiple times. They're not Converse, they're Nikes. 
They are Air Trainer SC2 QSs. <laughs> what? They're not even basketball shoes. This is when you, can, you feel free to laugh at my shoe. It's what? fine. This is the shoe. <laughs> I remember you. You remember these. me wearing these shoes? I've I've got pictures of you wearing those shoes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the uh, Bo Jackson Bo Nose shoe from like I think this is 1991. This is the original. Ni yeah, this is not a reproduction. I honestly I don't I don't know enough to be able to tell, but I'm pretty sure that you can see Bo Jackson. These are wore from, down the sole just a little bit. Well, the eBay description was I wore them once, and then he put them in the box. And they gotta don't don't do that. Why? Don't undo the. Why? I don't want you to damage them. Not damage it. Just, just kidding. Wow, Link. Now, are you planning on wearing these, or are you planning on starting a, a display? Oh, I'm gonna wear them right now. <laughs> I, I wore them once, and uh, then I was gonna wait until. They look so stylish. They're gonna look great with my nudie suit. <laughs> <laughs> Give me that. And now I'm gonna. I think I'm gonna take the tag off. No, don't take the tag off. Oh, really? Yeah, not in the first couple of weeks. Put your feet up here. Let's see them. Oh. <laughs> well, you still can't see them. Put, 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 put a foot up here. Look, Look at, at that. that. <laughs> Look at the stability that this thing offers. That's a good I mean, I feel like shoot. Bo Jackson. I play baseball and I play. Football. Are you, are you gonna you're gonna train in both of them? I'm gonna train. I'm gonna cross train. Sorry if I. I mean, this is not. There's no real crotch under here. It's just material. But yeah, man, look at me. Look at, there's no real like anatomically correct crotch <laughs> you did, under you, my. You heard it here. There's no real crotch <laughs> under there. Sure, it comes as a, it comes as a surprise to I all mean, of you. I mean, under the black box, there's not a printed anatomically correct crotch. There's a real. Whatever. <laughs> there you get him up. Yeah, high knee it. High knee it. Yeah. Look at those things, man. Whoa. <laughs> Woo! Cross! Oh, that's not a good angle. <laughs> <laughs> Morph suit is getting all kinds of free advertising right now. Uh, mm. I blew my box off there. <laughs> Lincoln said, uh, They're cool. I like them. They're cool, Dad. They got a little pink on them? Well, that's orange. <laughs> that's orange. Yeah, a little orangish pink. Look at that, guys. A little navy. Uh, two very stylish colors. It's got Velcro, it's got, it's got rubber, it's got plastic, it's got leather, it's got cotton. Now, it, it's got all types of fabrics. Now, interestingly, you know, even though my son is a sneakerhead, uh, this is something that I haven't done. I haven't bought any vintage shoes. I've just bought uh, reproductions. Oh, I'm out of breath. Now this part right here is an ankle liner type thing. Yeah. See, if that goes away, this is, a, this is a dorky shoe. <laughs> no, but you no, add no. this and you're like, this might still be a dorky shoe. No, the low top's good, man. I like that's, it. That's for the weekends. <laughs> that's the weekend right there. That's when you go out, and this is when this is when you work. When you work it out. When you put in that baseball slash. For those of you who don't know, Bo Jackson was the first. I wouldn't say he was the first because I don't I have no clue what he was. The to first play though. both sports. He played. He played baseball and football. He was good at both of them. Now. And there's a uh, you know about, thirty for thirty documentary. Do you know about the dial in the back? The dial in the on back. On Bo that, Jackson. That's pretty good. That makes this go down and up. Pew. It doesn't have a pump like Alex's shoes. I think that's the other thing subconsciously is I saw your pumps, <laughs> and then that that was like a little piece of mind. It's like if Alex can buy pumps like Trent Hamilton had in in high school, how I can, those pumps I can doing? Get, I can get my yeah. shoes back. The whole near? I'm trying to. I'm like they're like uh, retired for now, but yeah, they're still doing. You just wore them for a couple of weeks. Like a couple of days. And now you're, but you just so you can like sell them later. You're like keeping them clean. It's just like a special occasion thing, I think. Uh, special occasion? Like when you go to LSU games. Yeah. Every day with these is a special occasion. That's right. What, what do you honestly think? Did, who remembers these? You're not of my I've era. Seen them. You've seen them. I'm, do you remember the Spike Lee commercials with us? Those were the first, like. Yeah. Those were dope. With, with Bo Jackson. Yeah. 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 Bo knows. Because yeah. he's the one who would say, Bo knows. Yeah. yeah, man. Bo knows how to make a good shoe. 
kicking it. And I actually read the reviews now. It said not suitable for cross training now. <laughs> yeah, because tra we've trained so differently now. <coughs> and they, yeah. I mean, <laughs> see how much, see how much they weigh. Yeah, 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 yeah. You could do this in the '80s. You can't right. do it now. You break a leg trying to do that now. <laughs> yeah, you, 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 you just <laughs> foot would fly off because <laughs> right, you can't. Yeah. You start flinging that leg, and your foot would just fly off. So much. It'd stay in there. Yeah, since then. It's got a waterproof tongue top. Yeah. So you don't. If you get water there, you're totally fine. Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. You can I'm, drop it right on there. I'm gonna be wearing these, man. Yeah, you're all the time. I'm gonna wear these, and people are gonna look. <laughs> I'm gonna start conversations in like public places. Yeah, yeah. That'd are those Bo Jacksons? The funny thing was is that when I when I initially thought I was gonna search online, I was like, Andre Agassi's. I thought these were Agassi shoes. When you had them as a in, kid? In my no, in my <coughs> when I accessed the memory, I thought they were Andre Agassi shoes. Well, Agassi he had, had had a shoe. He had a shoe. He also wore a wig. Did you know that? Back in his heyday when he had that amazing hair and everybody loved him, it was a wig. No, it wasn't. Read his memoir. Are you serious, dude? Yeah, I didn't read it, my brother did. <laughs> and he texted you that? Uh, he was like, did you know that Agassi had a wig? That's amazing. And that's why he had it like a, the, Brett, the Brett Michaels headband that that's holding Brett Michaels' I mean, wig that, on? That's quite a risk yeah. to play a professional sport where you're the only, you're the one of two people that they're watching constantly. I mean, you can't have a moment where that wig comes loose. There's no moment where you're not being watched. Yeah. It's not like you're like. Just like you in these shoes. Baseball, when you go to the dugout, like, can I fi fix yeah. it? Everybody's gonna be watching your feet now. Everybody's gonna be watching these feet, man. Yeah. Moving, you're crossing. You're gonna get recognized.